an MC pop, and it's like more like um, the stab at the crack of the bite of the apple, the one and the only, the mac of the roll, and the little that's tried to chip it up, quack, chip it up, shake it and break it, and taste it and make it a pop of the day. If you move for me, get up and jump and jump and jump and bump it up. Wow, I literally want to give you an applause right now for that. That was fire. Thank you. Hi, creative artist, it's your girl, Pauline, and that's what's up on today's video interview with innovative hip-hop legend, MCG L-O-B-E, of the highly successful Soul Sonic Force, who have hits like Planet Rock, looking for the perfect beat, Play That Beat, Mr. DJ, Renegades of Funk, and other successful hits. So with no further ado, let's jump right in. Hi, my creative artist. It's your girl, Pauline, and I'm here with an iconic legend in music. We have MCGLOBE of the Soul Sonic Force. All right. How you doing today, MC Globe, G-L-O-B-E? Honestly, actually, I'm having a ball. Thank you for the magazine. Um, you know, I'm going to support this. Got my friend Leia Sands in there. Yes. And uh, I don't know exactly what page she's on, but she's in here. Yes, she is. With a whole lot of other great artists with a lot of great artwork. And uh, for those of you who didn't get a chance to uh, make it to the, <laughs> the festival, it is off the atom. Yes, in there's Leia's work. Yeah, Leia, go Leia, go Leia. She's a super talented artist. Yes, so that's there right. is, y'all. Thank and you so much. And this is an much. unpaid advertisement, okay? I'm doing this for the art. So yeah, I'm good. Thank you. All right. Now, a lot of people <clears throat> may not fully understand why I said you're an iconic legend mm. and an innovator, actually. And can you tell us a little bit about your, your, uh, your background in the music industry? Uh, absolutely. Um... My first um, recording was uh, Planet Rock um, with uh, Soul Sonic Force. My second was uh, Looking for the Perfect Beat. My third was uh, Play That Beat, Mr. DJ, Globe and Wiz Kid. Uh, then there was uh, Renegades of Funk, which was covered by Jack DeLoca, Rage Against the Machine. I did work with New Edition. Um, little work on a song called Pass the Beat. It wasn't a huge mm -hmm. song, but... It was an experience to be with the boys uh, on the Candy Girl album. Um, besides that, work with Edgar Winters. Edgar Winters, who is a big uh, rock and roll artist, he did a popular song called uh, Frankenstein. He did a rap version for it. I helped him out with that. Two Sisters, Be Boys Beware on the Freestyle Tip. Jenny Burton, Atlantic Records. Um, things here in between their projects. But... Um, Primarily, I'm a lyricist for uh, majority of the work that I do, all of it actually, and I'm um, also a performing artist on the tracks. Um, out of New York City, the Bronx, Mighty Zulu Nation, Peace Like Key, and um, Hip Hop, I love y'all. Freestyle, love you too. And, um, you know. Now, I have a question for you, because when I use the term innovator, it's because you pretty much uh, are an innovator with a style that you were using. And what's that style? Oh, it's called uh, MC Popping. Popping, okay. It's um, it's it's uh, something that I would describe to be as uh, what Bruce Lee sort of described, uh, the act of taking a certain form of a surrounding existence, a glass of water, how water fills a glass and forms the, the um, becomes the form of the glass. That's what MC Papa basically is. And it has different rhythms. Sometimes it's fascist. It's uh, similar to a lot of things you may have heard, uh, such as Jamaican toast and like, don't give me none, don't give me none, don't give me none, don't give me no crack now. That's Jamaican toast. And then there's uh, fast rapping that uh, uh, the Treacherous Three came up with, Spoonie G. That's like a dedicated rocker of the MC popping some professional communication. They would know with dedication down the screen across the nation. And then there's the other fast style of rapping that a lot of rappers do is um when I rap to the rhythm stuff with no slack, I know myself, I got my shit down, pat when I still slip, you know, I just can't cut, but I gotta keep on because I'm well equipped. 
that's that's fast rap. But MC Poppin' is like more like um, the stab at the crack of the bite of the apple, the one and the only, the back of the road, and the little that's tried and chipped it up, quack, chipped it up, shake it and bring it, the tension and make it a pop of the day. If you move from me, get up and jump and jump and jump and bump it in. Wow, I so, literally want to give you an applause right now for that. That was fire. Gosh, thank you. But um, that's the difference between um, what you would call the other styles in comparison to MC Pop. It also um, takes a, a um, whatever tempo the song is, um, but it transforms to a melodic type sounding too, like uh, verse of Planet Rock. You gotta rock MC Pop in. Because in this century, there is such a place to be. So, you know, time to chase your dreams, all that stuff. Uh, we play that beat, it would be, um, you could play it and 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 play it all night long and I'll listen to it over and over again and again and again and again. Or Renegade of Funk, it was popping the shotgun and rocking and putting the side to hip hop in. So, it's been around for a minute, you know. Wow, when you are an iconic legend in the music industry, and your music is still being played. You also just got um, some other news that you can share about something here in New York that you've been a part of. Yes. Um, I am working with the Universal Hip Hop Museum, uh, along with Rocky Bronco, Cutman, ETLG, um, and um, some other heavy hitters in the industry, Nas, um, a lot of heavy hitters, uh, LL, um, a couple of folks, and um, there's actually a groundbreaking taking place um, on the 20th of this month. I don't know when this is going to be air, but uh, it's going to be dope, which is uh, really the initial um, date where the ground is actually being broken for the construction of the museum that's where we publicized people will know that it's really happening. Uh, I was also inducted into the Washington, D.C. Hip Hop Museum um, in Washington. Uh, that ceremony took place on uh, Central Avenue, 1520 Central Avenue in the Bronx, which is the actual birthplace of hip hop, where Cool Herc threw the first hip hop party. And that was uh, two months ago. Um, I'm currently just writing a lot of songs, have a new one out. Um, well, it's coming out. It's going to be the theme song actually on the website for the Universal Hip Hop Museum entitled Hip Hop um, with uh, your producer um, Kid Superb, MC Globe, GLOBE, and Kid Superb. The name of that song is Hip Hop. Um, I'm also working on something coming out in the UK. Um, <clears throat> just doing it, you know, just making it happen, just, just keeping people. Motivated through the music. Um, yeah. And um, we definitely appreciate having this time to um, hear from you and to share your message with uh, my viewers. <clears throat> and I, for one, am a fan of you and your music and you as an artist. Uh, you are definitely an iconic legend, an innovator. And, and congratulations on your most recent endeavors. Thank you. And we wish you much success, and, and, and you deserve it. My pleasure. Thank you for um, giving me the opportunity to speak on behalf of the hip-hop culture. I mean, um, it's affected the whole planet. I remember when it was rejected. Now it's totally accepted. And, um, you know, oh, also, I got to shout out the 50 G's track that's coming out. Uh, with a whole lot of iconic artists on it, um, which is um, pushed out by Grandmaster Cash of the Cold Crush 4, Charlie Chase, Tony Tone. Um, I want to shout out uh, my entire Zulu family. Y'all know who you are, Biggs, Pow Wow, Bam, everybody, you know, I shout y'all out. I love um, Zulu everywhere. And um, stay strong, stay positive. No, peace. That's it. No, that's what's up. And again, I'm holding this magazine because it feels nice for my hand, too. It's just, it's not, she didn't ask me to do it. I guess easily, but nah, this is what's up. All right. Y'all support this. Thank, Thank you, you so much, MCGLOBE. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.
Creative, 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 creative artist magazine in the house like whoa, oh, 